just being vulnerable with whoever's listening. Like, you dig what I'm saying? Like, that's my problem. I never was there, like, to listen. Like, I, I was never, like... I never really listened back to my music the first time around when it came to like the music that I was putting out before and was like, like, damn nigga, that's so true that I just feel like nigga, God damn nigga, I gotta put this out right now. But I feel like that about every single thing on this album. Like I'm blatantly, I'm blatantly honest about every single thing. So it's like, whether or not you like it or you hate it or you dislike it or whatever the fucking case is. It is what it is. Like some niggas is not some niggas is not gonna like me after the album drop because I done said a said a couple things. Some niggas is gonna be like, I right, that's real, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the case is, cool. But some niggas is not even gonna like me, my nigga, but I don't give a fuck. It's what the album is about. You think what I'm saying? Like the album is about you guys being able to listen to something and being like, yo, damn, I always wanted my favorite artist or an artist to give me that insight that he just gave me. You dig what I'm saying? Like, a lot of times niggas just give you this facaded, like, fake-ass fucking, like, image of what goes on. And I'm just, I'm seeing it from my eyes. So I just want to give y'all, like, my perspective on it. Because I'm not, you know, I'm not one of them niggas who, I'm not one of them niggas who lies. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and all my other music, I feel like it's been honest, but not brutally honest to the point that this music is. You know, so that's why I feel like the memory of this music won't die. So tapes called Memories Don't Die, or the album, if you will. Um, yeah. Nah, word, nah, on, on, uh, hey, look, this is like my, um, past, somebody gotta just take their real actual blank and just pull it back from the screen, just like, you know, we had a past session right quick. <laughs> different shit like I want to just and just invest in them and like whatever pops pops as long as niggas got like a real business plan and niggas got like a real way where they believe it's gonna work I want to do that shit like you know what I'm saying and I feel like just because of the fact that I give back to people and if I do give back to people like that I feel like regardless of fact the blessing is it comes around and I'm not saying I do it just for the blessing to come back but I just kind of feel like when you help people, that's just how life is, like, you know? So, I always look, I always look for, 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 for new shit and, like, new people because I feel like, you know, I'm going to be one of those people who was a real innovator and found a way to, like, kind of help a lot of people in a weird way, like, you know? So, uh I did a song with Tiger. I did a song with a lot of people, bro. I'm telling you, I got a lot of features. A lot of songs that came out. A lot of songs I'm not out. My, my bad. Don't wash my neck tat. It's still healing. Shit peeling this shit right now, so. But yeah, yo. Um, as long as y'all know that the album is like, I think, 24, 23 days away. Um... It's not a long time before this shit comes out. Like, it felt, it felt like a long time when I released the date, because I released it in January or whatever, but... Or was it? Yeah, January. And, um... But now, like, I'm just... I'm, I'm totally, like, stoked about it. I think that this shit is about to be something of epic proportions, so... Tomorrow, y'all motherfuckers hit me back up. I'm gonna come right back on my live. We gonna talk some more shit.